Hi, you are watching Kolska Drones. Welcome back. So today we've got the last in the series of the Star Wars fighters, and this is a TIE fighter from Papel. Hi, welcome back to Kolska Drones. So today we've got the last in the series of the Propel Star Wars fighters. And this one is the TIE Fighter. As you can see, it's in the same box again. And... <laughs> now this one actually plays five. This is a rebel we need to put the top back on, I'm not going to make it listen to all five. There may be more of them, and I request permission to conduct a further search of the area. But again, it does the same thing. Only with this. Put the top back on, stops the music, take the top off, plays a different tune. So there you go. Actually, I will go because it actually plays the Imperial March. I think it does, that's four. So there you go. The best one, I should have made it go first, shouldn't I? So that's the Imperial Map. So, yeah, again, incredible touch detail. So, as I did in the second one of these, I'm now gonna take it out of the box and show you what you get in the box. There you go, it's all out of the box. So, this is what you get in the box you get the instruction manual, which is a beautifully illustrated manual. It's a shame to open it, and I won't actually be opening this one. I've opened the one for the first one, but once you've got the control, I downloaded the other ones to be fair to look at them online rather than open this. And then you get, the, this is the extra accessories you get, so you get a spare set of wings for the TIE Fighter. One set of props, so that is, you get a full uh, two sets of each, some screws, the B props, and a really, really nice prop removal tool, which is absolutely awesome. I still can't get over that, it's an awesome piece of kit. And then you get... The wall charger and the battery, so these are the batteries. I'm not sure what size these are, I think these are 800 as well, so 850, so these are 850 batteries and as you can see beautifully crafted, absolutely beautifully crafted and then under, under the batteries themselves you get the charging unit. In there you get the wall charger, which is a proper plug with, not a USB nasty cable, the proper thing. And then this fits into here, and that's how you charge it. It's phenomenal. The attention to detail on this thing is absolutely incredible. It's the light there to tell you when it's charging and when it's charged. So again, fantastic. So that's the charger. You get the training guard, as they call it, or the prop guards and then you get the transmitter. Transmitter is, very, is exactly the same as the one for the first one that I did which was the speed, the speed bike only in colour. This thing plays different sounds as you can imagine. The sounds are all different on here. Uh, we'll go through that in part two of this video when I show you how this works and what it flies like and everything the sounds on here. Again same thing so you've got your buttons on the top and that's for your speed and your flips and then you've got weapons on there and that's how you select your training mode. If you flick that up to the top, it takes altitude hold off, flick it back down, puts altitude hold back on and here you can adjust your volume and everything. So that's the controller, again superbly finished off as, as the others were. And now the main event. So this is the TIE Fighter, which is another iconic Star Wars drone. As you can see, attention to detail is fantastic. This cover flicks off here and that's where your batteries go in. We'll show you that on I'll show you that on the second video. But as you can see, look at the attention to detail. These have got nylon, these are actually nylon inside there rather than plastic. It's just really really well made. LED at the front. Yeah, and as I say, the attention to detail is just absolutely superb on these. All three have been exactly the same for the quality. Flight-wise, let's see what this one flies like. But if it flies like the others, it's going to be superb to fly. So they, your props go on the bottom. This guard clips on there like that. Just clips straight over the top. There 
There you go, and that's how it sits on its landing. Very easy to fit. And these are really nice. They're very flexible. They do. I haven't broke one, and I've put them down hard, and I've crashed them hard because they do go quite fast. And I've never had any bother with them. So, like I've said before, so I got all these three of these for ninety nine pounds for the collection of three. You can still buy them now for. You can get them for forty nine ninety nine each, but the offer has gone for the pack, unfortunately. But still well worth buying as individual crafts. And you buy, unless you're a Star Wars nut like me, you might not want all three anyway, but I just wanted all three. Again, it's in the lightable case. The case is chargeable by the wall charger that you get in, in the box. This charges up in about an hour, and it'll last forever. It seems to last a long, long time. The lights eventually do go off. Or you can just put a cover over and they'll go out. And then once it's out of the box and you're just leaving it on show like this, they don't come back on again. They'll just stay off. So you're not going to be bothered by the music and the lights all the way through. So, I'm going to do a second part of this. And in the second part of the video, I'm going to show you more of the controller, the sounds on the controller and all the other features. And also I'm going to show you the app. That, so you plug your phone, you put your phone into here, you connect your phone on Bluetooth to this, because it's got the Bluetooth logo on the back, it's very easy to connect up, and you've got like an FPV simulator, so you can fly around and battle, and it's really nice, but I'm going to run through that at the end of this video, because I haven't done it on the others too, so on the second part of this, I'll do it at the end, so you can just see what the app's like, but the app's fantastic. So, thanks ever so much for watching, I'll have part two up shortly, and as always, have a great day. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.